Are you tired of always scoring your shots like this? Or having your favorite go-to freestyle mechanic just being the fast aerial? Maybe you just have no cool clips to show your friends, and maybe they just laugh at you and don't invite you to Timmy's 13-year-old birthday party even though you invited him to your- well, that stops today, because I'm about to give you three of the best and most simple freestyle mechanics that even a gold player can try to learn and master. These mechanics will make the game so much more fun to play, and you can finally flex on Little Timmy. Make sure to like and subscribe, and join the Discord if you haven't done so already though, because it really helps my channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into the first mechanic. The first mechanic is the ceiling shot. Now, a lot of people tend to overlook this mechanic as opposed to other mechanics like the flip reset because, I mean, the flip reset is kind of like flashy and you're resetting your flip off the ball, but what a lot of people don't realize is that the ceiling shot and the flip reset allow you to do basically the same thing. In both shots, you're aiming to get that coveted infinite flip timer, where you can override the usual one second time you have to flip after your first jump. This means that when you have your infinite flip timer, you can now do pretty much anything you can imagine and still have your flip to redirect the ball exactly the way you want to hit it. And the best part is, the ceiling shot is very easy to learn and it's honestly more effective than the flip reset. Now, let's go over the easiest way to do it. You want to start off by dribbling the ball towards the wall at around this pace. Not too fast, but not too slow. Next, you want to tap the break button about where this line is. Now, by tap, I mean tap. This is just to slow your car down before going up the wall, it's not like a stop sign. This allows you to create distance between your car and the ball so you can have more time to adjust and figure out what you want to do in the air. Now once you have tapped the brake button, speed up again to meet the ball as it rolls up the wall. It's very important that you make contact with the ball at around this area on the wall. This is going to allow you to pop the ball up perfectly to the ceiling without it bouncing or not going high enough. Once you make contact, you have two options. You can either continue driving up the wall to the ceiling to meet the ball, or you can jump immediately and boost up to make contact with the ceiling. Jumping allows you to meet the ball at around the same pace as it goes up, which I have found to be way better at just keeping track of the ball and staying in control of the ball. You just have to remember to make contact with all four wheels on the ceiling. Just straight up driving up the wall is easier mechanically however, so you can start by learning this. Now once you're on the ceiling, all you gotta do is let yourself fall off. It's super important to fall off and not jump off the ceiling because falling off negates your flip timer because you didn't jump in the first place. If you jump, you will only have about 1 second to flip. Now once you fall off, you have the freedom to do pretty much anything you want. You can do a simple flip to hit it towards the net, or a sextuple pogo flip reset musty s This is a really easy freestyle mechanic to learn, I mean, if you're using the drive up the wall method, the steps to do this mechanic are literally dribble, break, hit, drive, and score and you can combine even more freestyle mechanics with the ceiling shot, so you really don't have a reason not to try this out. The next mechanic is the wall dash. Now, this is not exactly like the most useful mechanic you can learn, but it's pretty easy and kind of funny to use in-game. This mechanic is essentially just you repeatedly flipping into the wall so fast that your car ends up dashing after every flip instead of flipping, so you can keep chaining them together. It doesn't really do anything except exist, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it has a bit of competitive viability, but I think it's really just better used to meme. Now, on paper, this mechanic seems super easy because there's really only about four buttons you need to press, but it can be a little bit more difficult than you might think. Now, in order to perform this mechanic, you must be driving on the wall, obviously. I, I mean, it's called the wall dash. <laughs> you don't want to be on the ground or this little corner thing because it just won't work that well. Now, once you're on the wall, you want to be going at a decent pace because it makes it easier to learn, and try to be pretty much horizontal or parallel to the ground. Now, to perform the wall dash, simply hold the joystick towards the direction of the wall, left if the wall is on the left side, or right if it's on the right side, and spam the jump button as fast as you can. If you're spamming fast enough, you should see that your car is repeatedly dashing onto the wall over and over again. In order to stay going relatively straight forwards, after the first dash, Hold power slide throughout the rest of your chain to keep going straight. If you perform all the steps correctly, you'll be able to wall dash down the map like a madman. Now, the reason a lot of people can't seem to perform this seemingly easy mechanic is usually because they're just not spamming hard enough. Now, I wasn't lying about saying that you need to spam the jump button. I mean, you gotta click it faster than how long it took for me to get to your mom's house. A really easy way to see what you need to be doing when performing this mechanic is to go into slow-mo. You can either do this by going into an exhibition match and turning the slow-mo mutator on, or if you're playing on PC, you can use Bakuzma to change the match speed to like 0.5 or something. 
You can also try incorporating this mechanic into your games by trying to do the wall dash after someone scores and you have that little celebration period. After someone scores, just go immediately to the wall and start spamming the wall dash and you should get better at the mechanic. Okay, this final mechanic is my personal favorite and honestly one of the most useful freestyle mechanics that you can learn. The Classy Flick is a super underrated mechanic that deserves way more attention than it currently gets. It's essentially a musty flick, but upside down, a lot faster to pull off, and a lot easier to do. This is a very effective mechanic because most players aren't really expecting it. The explosiveness you're able to get with this flick will catch most defenders off guard, and because you're approaching the ball at an awkward angle, most defenders won't even know it's coming. Basically, all you gotta do for this mechanic is simply flip backwards. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's basically what you need to do. For the ground classy flick, which you should learn first because it's the easiest one, all you gotta do is dribble the ball on top of your car in between the nose and middle of your car. This will make sure that the ball isn't too far up or too far down. Next, you want to jump up and spin 180 degrees under the ball. You can either do this left or right, just depends on what you want to do. If you have it set up correctly, the ball should be hovering just above your car. This is where you want to do a backflip in order to launch the ball towards the net. I also like to flip cancel right after I backflip in order to make sure that the ball is launched sort of upwards and not arcing down towards the ground which you can do by tilting the joystick the opposite direction right after you do your backflip. If you can't get the flip cancel down, don't worry, it's not completely necessary, but you will see a lot more power in your flicks by using the flip cancel. Now, the great thing about the classy flick is that you can also combine it with other freestyle mechanics. Now, at the beginning of the video, I taught you guys how to do a basic ceiling shot. What if I told you that the classy flick is one of the most overpowered mechanics that you can use with this ceiling shot? The classy flick is able to be performed almost instantly once you hit the ceiling, which makes it much more effective than the musty flick, which takes some time to get set up. The classy flick is versatile in that you can perform it almost instantly by tilting your car upright slightly past the 90 degree mark and then flipping backwards towards the ball. Or you can boost down to meet the ball with your nose facing to the ground and then backflip, catching defenders off guard with how unexpected this flick is. Because the flick is so quick to pull off, you also have time to decide whether or not to fake and do another mechanic instead, making it super versatile and very useful to learn. Now, before I end off the video, I want to talk about some honorable mentions that just didn't quite make my top 3. First of all, the stall. Now, the stall is essentially just your car stopping mid-air for about a second to allow you to get a flip reset or something. It's a pretty cool mechanic that isn't too difficult to get down if you actually know what you're doing, but the reason I didn't include it in my top 3 mechanics was because it's slightly too difficult to learn for most players, and it's not really a competitively viable mechanic to learn at all. You have to use directional arrow at the same time you're tilting your joystick exactly 90 degrees while jumping perfectly in order to have your car just stop in the middle of the air. So. It's cool, and there are a ton of tutorials out there if you want to learn it, but in my opinion, it's just really not cool enough or useful enough to put on the list. Now, the other honorable mention is, of course, the musty flick. Now, this mechanic is a staple in Rocket League culture, and tons of players want to be able to perform it. I personally love using this mechanic, and I low-key spam it in training a lot, but the reason I didn't want to go over it extensively is because I do truly believe the classy flick is basically as useful as the musty flick, while easier to learn, and while still looking really cool to pull off. The musty flick requires a little bit more technical ability to pull off, and you really have to know how to control your car in awkward situations in order to do it consistently. However, it's still a really cool mechanic to learn, so if you think you're ready, definitely give this one a try. Now, that concludes the top 3 easiest to learn freestyle mechanics in Rocket League that you can learn right now. Feel free to look back at the video again if you need the tutorials, or search on YouTube because there's a ton of content out there on the mechanics I've gone over in this video. Now, as a reward for staying until the end, I'll give you guys a secret freestyle mechanic that anyone can do right now, which is simply to...